Hi everyone. I am Dr. Itish. Uh, I am basically an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, during my free time, <coughs> recently I got an opportunity uh, to know about uh, this uh, hydrophonic system of forming by my one of my colleagues. I have created my own setup. Uh, so let us see how this system can be built in uh, home using the uh, the materials available locally so this is the uh, setup so i have you can see i have used uh, these kind of uh, pvc pipes with the help of this t junction and elbow junction uh, we can create a basic framework so this is the basic framework uh, you need not, need not apply any glue uh, to stick in uh, just uh, place this inside the these junctions and just tap it from the other end with the help of some wooden uh, uh, block and uh, it will get seated <coughs> okay so once you created uh, this basic framework uh, you can see i have created in three stages this is the topper uppermost stage and this is the middle stage uh, and that is the lower stage so the video is blinking uh, because the, because uh, <coughs> the lights are on. So you can see that is the lower one, this is the middle and the upper stage. So now, uh, as you can see, these are the uh, um, these are the pipes. You can uh, uh, say these are the PVC pipe which act as a stand. So now uh, you have to place uh, uh, the bigger pipes. So this is uh, four inch uh, diameter pipes are uh, used here. So these uh, uh, pipes are sitting on the uh, on these uh, stands uh, stages we have made. So I have uh, created a three rows here, one, two, three. And on top of the uh, uh, these uh, bigger uh, pipes, you have to make a holes like this. Uh, to make hole, you can use a drill, uh, which is available. I should make sure uh, you are not hurting your, uh, uh, you know, hand fingers. And you can uh, use uh, the hole saw, uh, uh, which can be connected to the drill to make the hole. Here I have used the blade look blade to cut it like a chamfer and uh, to make a hole like that and uh, so this is the uh, mm, pot uh, which has a net so that's why it is called as net pot so this pot should be seated in the uh, inside this uh, hole and uh, <coughs> inside the uh, uh, this uh, tube there is a water which is flowing you can see the water which is flowing here okay so the these pots are dipped in the water now basically from where the water is coming so we have a reservoir on the downstairs so that is the reservoir you can see this is a uh, the tank uh, uh, which is uh, can be used of various capacity so this tank has a hydrophonic solution so this is basically water with the added uh, minerals which required for the plants and also we are aerating the uh, uh, aerating the water in the reservoir uh, to supply oxygen to the plants as plants also needs oxygen now this water is pumped up using a pump uh, using a pump which, again which is available locally uh, these pumps uh, uh, you can use a pump which can elevate water up to two meter now this pump in the green uh, tube uh, which is going up uh, the water is pumping up and the water is filling the pipes in the upper stage like that. It is going to the three uh, layers, I mean three uh, pipes and where the water will get filled. Now you can see the arrangement, uh, once the water is uh, filled here, and uh, you can see I have placed the, mm, the tubes of the inflow, inlet, uh, it is slightly above the level of midline. This is the midline. Suppose this is the midline, I have kept this above so that the water will get collected up to here. Now, once the water is uh, filled in the uh, uh, up to three fourth of the diameter up to the, this level, up to this level, now the water will outflow. This is again the same uh, structure. Here also, I insert the, inserted the, the tube little above the level of the midline. Now, the water which is uh, um, above the level of this uh, um, this pipe that will come out and then it will flow into the middle 
again the same process happens once the water is filled here three fourths of the water is filled and it will go out here and it will go to the lower one from there it goes out here to the reservoir again so like a heart system which pumps the blood the water is pumping up and it is coming down to the same chamber so here the pe one peculiar thing about this hydroponics is that there is no need of soil so everything is in the water so <clears throat> again the water which is needed is also not much uh, in this to set up this system it has uh, uh, about uh, uh, 75 uh, liters of uh, um, water in this setup <clears throat> okay so now uh, let us see how the system works now we have a reservoir with a hydroponic solution now this solution keep on moving and all the three no and throughout the system now we we uh, take the plants and now the plants uh, uh, after seedling once they grow to an appropriate size we have to remove all the muds in the um, uh, in the plant by washing uh, in the tap water and then you have to keep it in the uh, in this uh, keep it in the in this kind of uh, the pot and so that the, the roots are uh, peeking out and uh, to support it you have used a clay balls here okay so this is a clay ball to support the plant now this plant is dipped in okay once the plant is dipped in so that will absorb the, all the nutrients directly from the directly from the plants and directly from the water <coughs> so since the water is freely i mean nutrients is freely available in the water uh, you need not um, uh, the plants need not grow their roots much much longer as uh, which is required in a um, which is required in soil condition so here uh, the plants will not spend their energy to grow their roots the leaves will grow instead so the plants grows bigger and faster <coughs> using this system now what is the, the this is a scientific uh, forming basically why because here uh, there are some uh, you cannot uh, uh, do it everywhere uh, there are some criteria to do this so basically you have to use a soft water soft water means uh, the dissolved solid uh, total dissolved solid in the water should be ideally less than 200 so that is also called as soft water when the dissolved solid uh, level more than 800 or 900 it is called as hard water now uh, if you use a because once you add nutrients into the water uh, the tds or a total dissolved solid level will go nearly up thousand so already if the water is hard and if you add nutrients into the uh, hard water and the, the level of the total dissolved solid will go more than 2500 so that is not ideal for the plants to grow ideally they need 1000 to 1500 range of tds now how to measure it so that is the, the tds meter which is available online you can uh, use this tds meter so i'll just show you how it works so this is the tds meter and it has a electrodes down uh, so just switch it on and then you dip it in the pre before i add nutrients the tds of this fluid was 150 now i have added now it is showing 923 so again it is ideal for any kind of plants okay now this is very important so uh, as the uh, the plants uses the uh, this uh, uh, the tds will come down okay so once it comes down again you have to add nutrients regular interval uh, once uh, uh, the tds goes more than 2500 you may have to change the nutrient uh, this center hydrophonic hydrophonic uh, you have to change the hydrophobic solution if the tds is more than 2500 uh, <clears throat> there are uh, different plants which grow in a different range of tds which is uh, the details are available online you can read 
and uh, so the next thing you should have is the uh, the pH meter this is the pH meter the pH meter is will tell you what is the pH of the solution you can just dip it in and will tell the pH it is slightly acidic ideally the plant should uh, should have acidic pH the the fluid uh, uh, fluid should be the acidic because uh, if uh, only then the the plants can absorb the nutrients so if the pH is basic uh, the plants cannot absorb nutrients so they will die of uh, starvation so that is very important so there is a two important meters you should have one is the pH meter and another one is the uh, the TDS meter now the next thing is the lights so as you all know the plants uh, uh, prepare their food through a process called as photosynthesis using the nutrients in the water and all using the uh, sunlight so there are so, uh, seven colors as you all know in the sunlight uh, spectrum of sunlight uh, out of it blue and reds are important so you can see this blue and uh, blue and red color blue color will uh, is important while the uh, leaves are growing and the red is important when the plant is uh, flowering and when the, the when it is becoming a fruit so uh, the red and blue lights are important so these are the special lights which are used here these are also called as a grow lights these lights as a the typical uh, feed, uh, spectrum uh, of emission of light uh, this light are emitting blue and uh, red light, uh, red radiations red uh, lights so which are helping for uh, the plant photosynthesis so the advantage of that is that uh, uh, even during the night the photosynthesis is happening so again the in the plants grow faster so so that is about the light and you have to set up each row you have to set up a uh, different sets of uh, uh, the lights you can see like that so so that is the light setup and for aeration you have to use an aeration pump which again i have sent there uh, set up there and so that is the aeration pump and which is uh, sending the air to the uh, reservoir fluid and uh, where it is getting aerated uh, i hope this uh, video is uh, useful and uh, uh, if you want uh, any further information about how uh, this uh, <coughs> Uh, how frequently this uh, uh, nutrient fluid should be uh, nutrient should be added and how frequently this should be changed and how to maintain this um, uh, i will make a uh, separate video uh, please write on the comment box thank you